Okay, that's why you see this formula is true. P into dt as P, where it is. No, 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 you see. Achha, one second, I'll go back. Ha, huh. one more, right? This one, this one. No, it's, it's not this uh, internal pressure and temperature. This is the Euler's formula, you see. E-U-L-E-R-S. This is the Euler's formula, which we use to differentiate when a given variable depends upon more than one variable. Agar, suppose y is equals to fx if you have, then what we'll do? dy by dx directly will write to f dash x. But y and x only one in only one independent variable and one dependent variable we have. If you have more than one independent variable, then we use Euler's formula to differentiate. In this, what we do? Du will differentiate with respect to one independent variable, keeping the other variable constant. This expression means differentiation of u with respect to t, keeping v constant, dot dt. Same thing, ulta we have here now. Differentiation of u with respect to v, keeping t constant into dv. So this is the formula we have. We have another variable, then we'll write dou u by dou p, keeping the another variable constant into dv, like this we'll add. Okay, so don't, you know, you don't have to you know, put some, put, uh, you don't have to understand this actually. It is not required because it's not, it is not in their syllabus. Right. In engineering college, once you study engineering mathematics, no, there you will study all these things, Euler's formula, and then, uh, you know, dou means it's simple, dou means partial differentiation, that is it, partial derivative. We are differentiating u with respect to t, keeping v constant, it means it is partial derivative, so dou u by dou t, nothing else. Yes. Okay, so domains partial derivative. So we had discussed Q, W and U. Based on this, we'll see the first law of thermodynamics. First law of thermodynamics based on what? In short, we write it as float. First law of thermodynamics. It is based upon conservation of energy. conservation of energy. DQ is the heat supplied or heat, you know, released. Simple, you need to balance the energy and that is it. So, just a second.
okay so you have already done this first law of thermodynamics expression that we have simply i'll quickly explain this and then we'll move on see you have initial uh, internal energy of any system that is ui we have state 1 to state 2 the system is going the final state we have initial internal energy is ui and final internal energy is uf ui and uf so change in internal energy is equals to uf minus ui this is a change in internal energy right and this can be done in two different way either you provide heat to the system or you do some work on the system or system will do work okay the change in internal energy is possible in two different way first is first is heat flow into the system into or out of the system right so there will be heat exchange so internal energy will change the second way is what either work done on or by the system on or by the system okay so suppose what happens first case i am taking here heat absorbed heat absorbed and work done work done on the system heat absorbed and work done on the system okay it means what uf is the final internal energy we have is equals to ui the initial internal energy heat absorbed so plus q heat is given to the system and work done on the system that is also positive so plus w so uf minus ui is delta u so delta u is equals to q plus w so if you see this expression it means work done by the sorry on the system we have if it is on the system delta u is equals to q plus w if it is by the system heat absorbed and work done by the system then it is minus w over here second case is heat absorbed and work done yeah one second work done by the system so everything is same work done by the system is negative yeah, i'll go back one second so it will be equals to delta u equals to q plus instead of w we have minus w which further we can write q is equals to delta u plus w so this is the expression here
clear this is the first law of thermodynamics based on the energy conservation okay look at some question we'll see now Question number seven only. All of you are getting B. It is eight into point three zero into hundred and one. Okay, so all of you are getting B, so I'll go with B. This question, you see, I'll write down here one question. You have a piston cylinder system. Piston cylinder system expands against against a constant pressure. constant pressure of one atmospheric external pressure is this from volume four liter to 14 liter in this process it absorbs Eight hundred joule of energy. Find out delta U change in internal energy.
Yeah, what is the answer you got? Minus 213.2, close, yeah. So first of all, we'll find out the work done, right? In this expansion process, work done will find out and work done equals to W is minus P delta V. So this will be minus one delta V is 14 minus four. That is minus 10 unit is ATM liter. Since the energy is given in Joule, we have to convert this in Joule and that would be minus 10 into 101.3252. Okay. Now this delta U, because it is expansion, whenever you have cases of expansion, it is work done by the system. Work done by the system. Expansion means work done by the system. Work done by the system, the relation we have delta U is equals to delta Q plus W. Work done by the system is negative. So negative we are taking here. So positive sign here we have. So Q is 800 plus 1013.25 Joule. So when you solve this, you'll get approximately 213.7 Joule. This is the answer of internal energy. Yeah. Not this one. We haven't done this. Question number 14 you try. We'll do question number 13 also after some time. Try 14 first. Then fourteen. Fifteen, can you do? Fifteen, try once.
Question number 15, what is the answer? 14, what you got, all of you? Answer is A. It is pressure volume work done, just area you need to find out. Thirteen also will do after some time. Question number 15, you are not getting? Achha, I'll do 15th one. See, in 15th one, what happens is simple question. It's not that difficult, okay? Two identical containers, A and B, with frictionless piston, contain the same ideal gas at the same temperature and the same volume. Right? Same ideal gas, same temperature, same volume. No, no, it's D is not correct. Okay. See, the mass of the gas in A is MA and that of B is MB. Gas in the cylinder now allowed to expand isothermally to the same final volume 2V, the change in pressure A and B given, then mass relation we need to find out. So first of all, can we write the pressure of A in for gas A No, B is not correct. PA is equals to, we can write NA by NART by B. Yeah, so D is not there, B is not there. Then C and A, two options were left. C is correct. NART by B. Okay. Two identical containers, A and B with frictionless piston contains this. Same temperature and same volume, so P A and R T by B. N A, if you represent in terms of mass, because mass relation we need to find out. So M A R T by M V capital M is the molar mass. Right, so same ideal gas we have, so same molecular mass also we have. Right, similarly P B is equals to what? We can write MB RT by MB. No, it is not. What Anurag, you are not reading the question also properly. You see, same gas, same ideal gas. Correct? Now, expansion till the volume becomes 2V. Just 2V will substitute here. So, new pressure would be what? It is P dash A is equals to MAR 2MV and P dash B is equals to MB R T by 2 M B. Now the last line, the change in pressure in A and B are found to be delta P. So A in A we have delta P and delta P is equals to what we have? This minus this. So half minus this, it would be minus M A RT by 2 MV. Can we write this? Just we subtract this two. You subtract this two, you'll get this. Similarly, for B, it would be 1.5 times delta P, and that would be the same minus MB RT by 2 MV. Can we take the ratio of the two? 
Can we take the ratio of the two? This entire thing will get cancelled. So we'll have two by three is equals to MA by MB, which is nothing but two MB is equals to three M. Edit out. Option C is correct for this one. Yeah. Now the next is we'll discuss enthalpy and then again we'll do some question. Enthalpy is represented by H, capital H. Enthalpy, it is mathematically defined as H is equals to U plus PV, internal energy plus pressure volume work done. U plus PV, correct? It is what? It is the heat content It is the heat content of the system of the system at constant pressure. Heat content of the system at constant pressure. Okay, constant pressure is the condition we have here. So D U is equal, how do we get this expression you see? D U is equals to we know it is dq plus dw, first law of thermodynamics, FLOT. So dq plus dw is PV, which further we can write dq plus PDV plus VDP. So what is dp here? Since we have constant pressure, so dp would be zero. So du is equals to EQ plus PDV, the relation we have. Okay. Okay. So when we have constant. Okay, so since we apply the condition of constant pressure, so heat content of the system. One second. Okay, guys, we'll take a break now. There's some drilling going on, okay? Okay, we'll take a break now. We'll resume at 6, uh, 6.25, okay? We'll resume. By then, we'll finish. Yeah. Take a break. We'll resume at 6.25.
sorry, six twenty will resume, guys. Six twenty will resume. Okay. Take a break. Yeah.